Hi, in this video, I'm going to cover a demonstration on how to create a serial driver with feedback from the serial port. Before we go into the driver development, we are going to look at a flowchart on how feedback should be handled with our control system. For a simple flowchart on how feedback is handled in our system, okay, we have two, two simple flow, all right, a simple receive flowchart where we handle the receive data from the serial channel and of another flowchart to handle send, all right, to send data, all you need to do is to create a send, fun send command function and the simple thing is to just send the command and exit the function after that. For a simple receive, you do a receive, uh, you do a loop, uh, endless loop, whereby you check on the receive data. If there is a receive data, you process it. Okay. If not, look back to the loop and redo the receive data command. This is a simple flow of a receive handler for receiving data on a serial channel. But however, for com more complicated applications, you will need to handle cases whereby what if there's data coming in at the same time when I'm sending the data, I'm expecting a feedback from the receive port. What can I do? Due to the, the way it's been written now, there's no link between the receive data process and the send command. All right. <clears throat> in order for you to develop a more complicated application whereby Within the send command, you can actually get a send and receive type of a configuration whereby you can send command and wait for a response back from the system before you exit the send command function. So to be able to do this, we have another set of flowchart to handle that. <coughs> whereby in the receive process now, <coughs> we have the similar loop. But however, before we, we enter the decision making to check if there's any data coming in, we lock the process first using a semaphore variable. For more information about semaphores, please refer to our video on programming tips, semaphores. When there's any received data coming in, <coughs> we decide. Okay. Okay, if the received data is true, which means that there's data coming in, we check if you need you the, if there's any uh, if there's any process waiting for data under the send command session. If there's data waiting for send command session, we set the data for send to M data, which is the data that's coming in from the system or rather from a serial channel. Or else, if the receive data is not there, or rather the receive variable is not set, okay, what you will do is that you will just process the receive data, which is end data, all right, and be busy semaphore and go back to the beginning of the loop. All right. So next, under send command, what we will do first thing is that we lock two semaphores, send and receive. All right. What this will do is that if there's any receive process being executed all right if the if the receive process is being in, is, is executed and inside the, the inside the receive process cycle or loop the the receive lock will just hold the command until the until the data has been the receive pc has been unlocked all right so what we'll do next is that once the receive busy lock okay has finished we will set the receive to true, alright, which means that this variable here will be set to true. Set the data to nothing, okay, which is the data variable here to nothing, and then send the command out. Unlock the semaphore. When the semaphore is unlocked, the busy the the routine here will actually the busy receive busy lock here will actually enter, and you you will you this loop will actually be activated, and you can actually start. To receive data from the receive process. So once receive busy is unlocked, we wait for a period of time, say 0.5 second, 
and we check whether the data coming back. Okay, does it contain data? If it contains data, we will unlock the semaphores and return true. If it doesn't contain data, all right, which means that nothing has come back from the sense command, we will return a false. Okay, busy unlock, then we return a false. Okay, so this send command relies on two semaphores: one to prevent the system from conflicting with the receive command, receive uh, process and send busy to prevent two or more processors accessing the sense command at any one time. Alright, so this is the standard flowchart for the serial flow control. You may download this flowchart from our website. Now we look at the template. Alright, for this project, I have created a serial template. You can look under my project resources, serial template. Double click on it. You will find various constants being declared. The maximum buffer constant stores the amount of buffer you want to allocate for the receive buffer. All right. Wait send the amount of time to wait. Okay, when you want, when you are sending the data and waiting for the receive data to come back. Receive wait means the wait time required for the receive data command. Okay, inside the receive process. And we have two semaphore, we see busy, send busy. Send buffer is similar, similar to the uh, variables data as in the flowchart. In send is similar to the data variable receive as in the, sorry, as in the flowchart. Okay, standardly we have initialized INIT to initialize a serial port. Next, we do a start process handle receive. Alright. And when handle receive is executed, very simply, you'll just have an endless loop, do, and do, alright? And before you go into the command, you have to block it. And after that, you check whether there's any data coming in. If the, if this statement returns true, then the data comes in. And then in, and I check whether is it, uh, is in sense being set to true. If it's set to true, I will concatenate the data into send buffer. Alright, and next, after I've done that, I'll just concatenate the data into data buffer and process the data in the statement below. Alright, and under send command, I've locked send busy, receive busy, and set the buffer, the send buffer set to nothing, in sense set to true, and when serial, and serial, direct, serial connector dot send, and finally I unlock it. So after I unlock it, the handle receive can go in and do a receive on the receive buffer. And after this, I check whether, after, after this I do a wait on the time, wait send. And I, after waiting, I set the in send to false. Okay, this means that when this process, this uh, loop is executing, is being executed the second round, when this in send is set to false, Okay, there's no more new data that is going to be written to send buffer and you go direct to this statement below. Alright, so when and then next I check whether the send buffer is empty. If it's empty, then I'll return a false. Alright, and I'll set the reply string to also nothing. If it's not empty, I'll set the reply string to what's in the send buffer and I will set the I'll un unlock it and then I will return a value true. So I have this send command function with the parameter command to send and a reply string that is passed in as a reference. And there's an end result being returned boolean. So this the boolean results will tell me whether the send command has a received data or does not have a received data. Okay, so I can utilize this send command for my purpose of send and receiving data from the serial channel. So you may modify or add in new commands as required in this for this uh, system, and you may change the the, the 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 command here to put in commands to actually process data from the serial buffer. All right, by doing a check on the m data buffer variable. M data bu buffer will actually contain data that is. It will actually contain serial data coming in from the serial channel. 
you can actually edit the buffer and using the buffer here you can actually find out what data is coming back from the serial data serial but serial sorry serial channel and process the data accordingly after processing the data you will want to clear the buffer all right so that you has the so that you can be prepared for the next data coming in from the system sorry from the serial channel with that i would like to end this short uh, video do download this project file from our website for more information and on how to use the system as well as uh, and to use this serial template for your next project thank you bye bye